university or institution choice where you decide to do your phd will dictate your lifestyle and the types of opportunities and experiences you are expected to throughout your research i have always been one to choose my academic institution based on how comfortable i would be on their campus and living in the city in hindsight these are not the best ways to decide where do you do your phd as there are other incredibly important components about choosing your university or institution if you are worried about getting a job in academia upon graduation no doubt graduating with a phd from one of the world's top universities will set you out from the pack academia is still full of snobbery when it comes to where you have gone to school my masters supervisors in the uk was dismissive that i wanted to do my phd in australia he told me that there there was very little academic prowess given to the uh, phd's from down under and that i should be applying to oxford and cambridge i was not interested in living in the uk anymore and my phd was a way for me to live in australia i dismissed his advice as outdated opinions from a crusty and out of touch academic being on the other side now of a 15 year career in academia i completely agree with his advice i have seen people with phd's from oxford progress quickly up the academic career ladder as a research institution highly value them i think this is partly because of the reputation of the country's oldest universities and the connections and networking opportunities that they are exposed to during their phd other universities want to get in on those sweet network too The good news is that if you do not want a career in academia you have plenty of opportunities for a fantastic school schools worldwide a phd is a fantastic opportunity to explore a new country or live in a new city i would highly recommend visiting the university and the city that you intend to do intend on doing phd in to get a feel for if you would be comfortable living there for a few years there is no point in moving to a university for its reputation if you if you will be deeply unhappy during your time outside of research being unhappy outside of your research will only contribute to the feelings of depression and anxiety and it will make it much harder for you to push through for multiple years to complete your phd location where the university is located in the world is a very important aspect of surviving a phd it determines what type of lifestyle you will lead during your phd and how easy it is to get support from your oldest friends and family moving to the other side of the world is not necessarily a great way of keeping those relationship and support networks alive I used my PhD as a way to move to a country where I preferred the lifestyle. I exchanged the grey and drizzly drizzly weather of the UK for the sun and beaches of Australia. Moving to the other side of the world meant it would be much harder to see my friends and family. However, with the advancements in technology, it has been easier to keep contact. we can now talk for free when i started my phd we would spend a lot of money talking on the phone many people choose to do phd in the universities where they have done their undergraduate and masters they choose undergraduate or masters they choose universities close to their home and do not want to do not want the hassle of moving internationally or to another city alongside doing a phd as com- as comforting as it is try not to limit your choice of university 
to the ones in your home city look much further afield and you will find more opportunities one of the sad realities of academia is that it is now much harder to stay in a university throughout your entire career you must follow the money and successful phd graduates in academia often have to jump around many countries before landing a permanent position when it comes to choosing where you where to do your phd i recommend going where you feel most comfortable it could be as simple as connecting particularly well with the potential phd supervisor or you fell in love with the city or surroundings choosing a reputable university is very important if you want to your phd recognized by employers another important factor about the location is whether or not it puts you in an area that makes your research easier to perform for example if you are a marine biologist choosing a university close to the ocean and the areas you are interested in studying makes a lot sen- lot of sense expertise and equipment one aspect that i would look into when choosing a new uni- choosing a university to do your phd is the expertise and the equipment available to you as a phd student universities often have a wide variety of research interests with a broad range of research interest comes a huge variety of academics with different skills if uh, you could choose a university based on the academics that the university employs it may be great sign if a particular cohort of professors is at a university to help you with your proposed research topic by bringing a unique combination of skills or knowledge the other important aspect of the university is the equipment or physical instruments to help you with your phd i did a physical chemistry phd and therefore i needed access to a range of analytical techniques most universities have some of these techniques but ensuring that i had everything i needed to perform my research was important for keeping up the momentum when you speak with your potential phd supervisor another important question you may want to ask is how readily available is the equipment to phd students i have found that most universities have very good access to range of instruments through a booking system and training sessions if if required some instruments are very expensive to run therefore the usage may be limited by the university or your supervisor who may not be able to afford the amount of in, amount of the instrument time you need double check before starting your phd that you can access the equipment you need when you need it